So today uh, we are going for the dinner uh, like at 7 p.m. So I'm gonna get my eyelashes done. So I'm walking to the salad now. So I already have some uh, extensions left. So I just need a fill in. So let's see how it's gonna looks like uh, once I done the uh, fill in. Guys, before we move forward, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And here it is, my bathroom. So I'm going to get ready now. And before I get ready, I'm going to take a bath. And this is Chanel, uh, Chance by Chanel. This is my favorite ever bath tablets. They make your skin. They leave your skin. Oh my God so nice it's luxurious so if you don't have this you must buy this one and this is uv pills i think this is one of my favorite as well and i use this one i usually mix two of the uh like one of the bath foam this is i think the rituals one and i usually always mix a uh, like a bath foam and a So I'm going to add these um, bath pills, uh, which is a chance by Chanel. It is very hard to um, open the packaging, so you need to get something sharp to open it. Next, I'm adding Rituals bath foam. Uh, it has to get a lots of forms in your bath. So I always mix a Chanel bath pills plus the Rituals bath foam. So the bath is getting ready. It's almost ready. Night and turn. So I think we are ready to go in. So I'm gonna wear this tonight. We are number way to the restaurant. It's at Soho. It takes like one hour to go there. Which is, uh, the restaurant name is Park Road Theatre.
right, so you guys want to kill for Mr. Chaco? Today in the queue, so, so you have a time point for the trouble the fire in the corner. And you are the poor welcoming cocktail, deciding if you have a light or dark soul. So, what you've got to do is just stare into his eyes. Okay. And you will decide your welcome to him. Nice, thank you. <laughs> A dark soul, absolutely. It's very powerful. Once you put the coin here, it either gives you a white drink or a black drink. I actually put a black drink. It is sort of dark drink. <laughs> and Nitro got a white drink. Thank you very much. Enjoy. It was Oxtang Ew. I'm not going to eat that, so I literally put it back. Take out the domino bills inside. 
should be one gusto. One energy. That's it. Now, look at your boxes. Channel that lack of breathing in your mind. Say, I am not greedy. I'm in it, yeah. Once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, open your boxes again. Oh. You should be rewarded with a gift from the to you. As well as a little clue for who might be behind the finale of this first half. Of course, since we're in a room of falling gold, a little piece seems to have fallen onto your plates as well, because you guys are so well. This is a 100% whiskey wine. Uh, it's from the uh, wine of the water club, only of the year. One of the best uh, wine in the Alsace. And we decided to offer this wine specifically because of the citrusy and strong fruit zones. The cut for the richness of these wonderful zones you have, but complement the fish as well. So it's absolutely perfect. Oh, I will also say, this is my favourite of all the back downs, so some think someone needs to snap my LinkedIn profile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's false intention. I think it works for you, just like this. Yeah. I can get away with anything. Go meets guy, girl meets the baton. 
Yeah, but the last is real, Romeo and Juliet stuff. But we didn't tell you that this next course was to drink. So what we're going to do here with these truly insane cocktails, because I've got a feeling you guys are pretty brave as a group, we're going to do a blind tasting. So what I want you to do is have a little sip, be careful, the dark version is hot, the light version is actually cold, and then let me know if you can recognise any flavours, and I'll tell you how close to the mark you actually are. Well, a little hint, in the nine months we've been open, only three people have ever guessed what is in this dish. <laughs> Challenge, don't lay down the gold plate. It's like the hot one. It does confuse people. Anybody recognize any flavors here? There's a tiny bit of ginger in the foam. Yes, but the main element of this dish. This is designed to mess with your brain, so don't feel bad. What we have here is a duck martini. involved in this next part, so definitely need to pay attention. I would like you to be holding in one hand your, your coconut, in the other hand I want you to be holding your spoon. Now, on top of that coconut you're going to see this little yellow sphere that looks a bit like an egg yolk. It's not, do not worry. It is a pineapple sphere, so what I would like you to do with your spoon and without breaking it, you're going to scoop up that pineapple sphere, place it in your mouth, close your mouth, and then make it pop with your tongue. There's going to be a burst of liquid, be warmed. Liquid. Burst of nature. Underneath, we have coconut snow, cardamom and chili ice cream, barbecue smoked pineapple, passion fruit. Also, the leaves within it are edible. Those tall ones are popcorn shoots, the small ones are nasturtium. I'm going to let you know, this doesn't mean we have five courses of dessert coming up, which breaks my heart. Massive <laughs> this is instead designed as a little bit of a palate cleanser to refresh you for the second half. We add a lot on the first half, and we want to kind of get you back to the usual round, which we do with that combination of the chili and the sweetness of the ice cream refreshes you with a little tingle, which is further enhanced by the cocktails that sit on the box. Now, you're more than welcome to take hold of those and have a little sip. They are a combination of green chartreuse, Midori, Cardi Blanco, and a hint of tonic water. And for our non alcoholic drinkers, we have zero alcoholic gin, cherry, cranberry, very, very beautiful, fruity flavors all together with a hint of tonic water to finish it off. So ladies and gentlemen, enjoy.
ਮਾਨ ਕਰੀ ਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਂ actually a floating play imagine that isn't that so cool this is one of the reason i really wanted to go here just to see this it's 
so, ladies and gentlemen, we can enjoy our final dessert, the way Superman used the world for floating in space. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this final dessert is a passion fruit souffle with a strawberry sorbet on the side. Now, please be careful, the souffle is very hot. So overall experience was good. I'm not a fan of the food, not gonna lie. I love the experience. So if you like the experience, if you want to feel something different, you could you should go there, but it's not about the food. The food is not nope.